Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S2 2181. Henry and Mudge Under the Yellow Moon by Cynthia Rowland. A summary of the story is this. In the autumn, Henry and his big dog Mudge watch the leaves turn meet with some Halloween spooks and share Thanksgiving dinner. It's a fiction, as you can see. Content together in the fall, under the yellow moon, Thanksgiving guest. Together in the fall. In the fall, Andy and his big dog Mudge took long walks in the woods. Henry loved looking at the tops of the trees. He liked the leaves, orange, yellow, brown, and red. Mudge loved snipping at the ground. And he liked the leaves too. He always ate a few. In the fall, Henry liked counting the birds, flying south. Mudge liked watching for busy chipmunks since one was a boy and the other was a dog, they never did things just the same way. Henry picked apples and Mudge licked apples. Henry put on a coat and Mudge grew one. And when the fall wind blew, Henry's ears turned red and Mudge's ears turned inside out. But one thing about them was the same. In the fall, Henry and Mudge liked being together, most of all. Under the yellow moon, Henry loved Halloween. He loved to make jack-o'-lanterns. He loved to make paper bats. And most of all, he loved to dress up. Trick or treat, but there was one thing about Halloween Henry did not like. Ghost stories, and Henry's mother loved to tell ghost stories. Every Halloween, she put on her witch's hat, lit candles, and told ghost stories. She thought Henry liked them because he told her he liked them. But really, he hated them. They scared him. He was afraid to tell her that. But this year, Henry had much. Henry, but this year, Henry had much. Much would be with him, Henry would not be afraid of the ghost stories. So Halloween night, Henry's mother put on her head and lit her candles. She invited Henry and Much and some of Henry's friends to listen to ghost stories. It was dark outside. A big yellow moon was in the sky. It was dark out inside, except for the candles and one jack-o'-lantern. Henry got close to Mudge on the floor. Henry's mother began. First, she told a story about a man who lost his head. Ooh, ooh. Henry shook. His friends shook and shivered. Then she told a story about a cat in a graveyard. The candles made shapes on the walls. Henry shook harder. Then Henry's mother began telling a story about a pair of shoes that went looking for someone's feet. Oh my goodness. The shoes, she said, came out only at night. And they walked up and down the street looking for the owner. You could hear them, she said softly. They went click, 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 click. Henry's mother tapped her own shoes on the floor. Click, 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 she whispered. But when she stopped tapping, Henry still heard something. Something in the room. Something in the room under the yellow moon. Henry held his breath. Something went click, 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 but faster. Henry's whole body shook. 
It was like someone walking faster and faster. Click, 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 click. What was it? Henry's mother bent down. Mudge, she said. Henry knew his mother was scared too. If she needed much. Much, she said again. The clicking got louder. The shoes are coming, thought Henry. He put his head in Mudge's neck. Now the clicking was louder than ever. Mudge, Henry's mother said. Stop chattering. Chattering? Henry put his ear near Mudge's mouth, and Mudge's mouth, Mudge's teeth went click, 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 click. It wasn't a pair of shoes, it was much, and he was more scared of the yellow moon, and the dark room, and the witch's stories than anybody else. Poor Mudge, thought Henry. Henry stopped shaking and put his arms around Mudge's big head and held Mudge tight. Then they listened to the next story about a chair that rocked all by itself. But much clicked all the way to the end. The next story, Thanksgiving Guest. In November, Hannah's Aunt Sally always came. She came one week before Thanksgiving. She left one week after Thanksgiving. That's why Henry did not like Thanksgiving. Because Henry did not like Aunt Sally. She talks too much, Henry thought. She eats too much, Henry thought. She hugs the TV, meaning she watches only she, what she wants, Henry thought. Henry wished Aunt Sally would stay home. Aunt Sally had not yet seen Henry's dog much. I bet she hates dog, Henry thought. Oh, how he wished Aunt Sally would stay home. But she didn't. She came one week before Thanksgiving, right on time. Aunt Sally came into Henry's house. All these apples. She was talking and talking and talking. She went right into the kitchen with Henry's father. Henry knew what Aunt Sally would be doing in the kitchen. Henry went in the backyard to find Mudge. At last, Henry thought that Aunt Sally must be finished talking and knitting. So he went back inside with Mudge. They walked into the kitchen. Aunt Sally was still eating. Good grief! She yelled. Henry and Mudge stepped back. I knew she would hate dog, Henry thought. Aunt Sally looked at Mudge. Good grief, she said again. But then she took a cracker off her plate. She threw it to Mudge. Snap! went Mudge's mouth. And the cracker was gone. Just like that. Henry looked at Mudge. Henry looked at Aunt Sally. Great dog, Aunt Sally said. She put a cracker in her own mouth. One one, she asked Henry. Oh, sure, said Henry. She sat down with Aunt Sally. She still ate too much. She still talked too much, but all of her talk this time was about Mudge, and that was different. And Sally talked about Mudge's sweet eyes. She talked about Mudge's strong chest. She talked about Mudge's soft fur. She talked about Mudge's good manners. And she fed Mudge lots of crackers. This year, Henry knew he was going to like Thanksgiving. This year, Henry knew he really had something to be thankful for. The end. The writer, Cynthia Ryland, lives in Oregon with her son, Nate, and uh, two dogs, one large cat. Okay, the end. <laughs>